By now you've probably heard about the popularity of voice control devices, but did you know it's not only possible to control things like smart lights, speakers, and even your door locks? Now it's also possible to control your TV with just your voice. I'm Erin for Best Buy Canada's blog, and there's a couple of different ways you can control a TV using your voice. Some newer TVs today, smart TVs, have that voice control built right in, whether it's into the TV itself or into the remote control. Now, if you don't have a smart TV that can do that yet, there is a way you can still get that voice control by using a couple of simple external devices. Today, we're gonna focus on pairing up a Google Chromecast device with a Google Home to give your dumber TV, let's say, smart voice control. So what kinds of things can you do with a voice controlled TV? For starters, you can get it to turn on or off just by asking. You can also automatically load programs. For example, OK Google, play Stranger Things on Netflix on the living room TV. OK, Stranger Things from Netflix. And you're going to see you're gonna see that in just a couple of seconds, the TV is already loading up your content and you're gonna be ready to watch. There's other stuff you can do too. Okay, Google, play music on living room TV. Sure, music from Google Play Music, playing on living room TV. Yep, you can even request a song, artist, or genre, and it'll not only play over your TV's speakers or soundbar, it'll also give you some graphics too. If you haven't done it already, you'll first need to get your Google Home set up and your Google Chromecast. Now the key thing to remember here is to make sure they're both set up on the same Wi-Fi network, otherwise they're not going to be able to talk to each other. To get Google Home to talk to the Chromecast TV device, you need to link them in Google Home's app. Open Google's Home app on your smartphone or tablet, and you'll likely see what's called a card on the main screen that asks you to link to your account. Just choose Yes, I'm in, and that's it. Once you click it, it'll kick you back to your home screen, and from there you can check to make sure both the devices are inside the app and connected by going to the Devices tab in the main menu. Google's Home app will probably prompt you to log into various video services, things like Netflix or YouTube. If it doesn't, you can log in manually yourself. Just download the apps for those services, go into them, make sure you're logged in, and then when you are, go back to the Google Home app. You should see those services now start to work. You can test out your setup by giving a command. Okay, Google, play Peaky Blinders on Netflix on Living Room TV. Okay, Peaky Blinders from Netflix, playing on Living Room TV. It's important to note you need to use very specific language. You'll need to say, okay, Google, play whatever TV show you want on whatever your streaming service is, like Netflix or YouTube, on the name of your Chromecast device, such as Living Room TV. Now, if you've only got one Chromecast device, you can skip that last part. Google makes getting Home and Chromecast paired together really easy. For the most part, the app will walk you through everything you need to do, and for the other stuff, it's pretty intuitive. You'll be able to figure it out yourself. If you do have any questions, though, please post them, and I'd be happy to do my best to answer them. You can also check out a full written review online at blog.bestbuy.ca. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful and you liked it, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it helps me keep making more videos that I hope you all can watch and enjoy. I'm Erin. Find me on Twitter or Instagram. Until the next time, I'm at Erin L Y Y C.